Hi guys, and welcome to our video on solving equations with variables on both sides. Okay, so up until now, we've done a couple of equations. The first ones have been one-step equations, like x plus 2 equals 7, or 3 times x equals 12, or even x divided by 2 equals 10. Okay, those are our one-step equations. Okay, then we did our two-step equations, which were more like 2x plus 1 equals 6. We also had a couple of x over 4 plus 3 equals 12. Okay, so here's our one-step equations. Here's our two-step equations. Okay, now we're going to start talking about, well, actually, no, we had another type that we did. Uh, the last couple days, which was when you had the distributive property, right, and you had to do the distributive property to simplify it, which gave you a two-step equation, right, then you solved it, right, you did your minus 4, and you ended up with 2x equals 10, right, then we had our one-step equation. So we're, we started with one step, moved to two-step, and then we moved on to the distributive property, and it keeps on moving us backwards. So today, we're going to talk about equations with variables on both sides. And basically what that means is that if you notice, we've got 8x here, and we also have 5x here, and they're on opposite sides of the equal sign. When you're doing your equations, remember at the very end, you want to end up with x equals something. So in order to do that, that means we need to take all of our x's and move them to one side of the equation. So for our purposes, we're going to go ahead and move the x's over to the left. So we have a positive 5x here. Remember, there's a positive sign there, even if you don't see it. In order to get rid of that, we have to do the inverse, which is negative 5x. And if you subtract 5x from this side, you have to subtract 5x from that side. Okay? So we're going to bring down our negative 3. 8x minus 5x gives us 3x, another equal sign. 5x minus 3x, I'm sorry, 5x minus 5x, this gives us 0, and then we're going to bring down our 6. Okay? So now we have a two-step equation. And our two-step equation, we're going to solve exactly like we've been doing. We're going to add a 3 on this side. Oops. We're going to add a 3 on that side, and then add a 3 on that side. So those cancel to 0, then we're left with 3x equals 6 plus 3 is 9. Okay, so now we've gone variables both sides, two-step, and then here's our one-step equation. So now we're going to divide by 3, and we end up with x is equal to, I'll write it over here, x is equal to 3. Okay, and remember to check it, you're going to go ahead and take this variable right here, this value, and you're going to plug it into your regular um, original equation to see if that works. Okay, let's go ahead and do another example. Okay, so this one is n plus 3 equals 5n plus 7. Same thing, we want to end up with n equals. Okay, so we're going to take this positive 5n and we are going to get rid of it, so we're going to do the inverse operation, minus 5n, then we have to minus 5n on that side. So n minus 5n is negative 4n. We're going to bring down our plus 3. Okay, our 5n's cancel to give us 0. Then we have 7 over here. Okay, then what we're going to do is now we've got our two-step equation. We're going to do the inverse of positive 3, which is negative 3. So we have to do that on both sides. Okay, our negative 4n is just going to carry down. Positive 3, negative 3, that cancels to give us 0. And then 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay, so this was our variables on both sides, two-step equation, and here we are at our one-step equation. We're going to divide by negative 4, divide this side by negative 4. Remember, these 1 and negative 4s cancel each other out to give us 1. And then 4 minus negative 4, I'm sorry, 4 divided by negative 4. Remember, a positive divided by negative gives us a negative 1. Okay, then you're going to go back and plug in that negative 1 to your original equation to see if that works. All right, here we are, our third example. Okay, same thing, x is on both sides. We want to get it equal to, I'm going to put my x over here, 
We wanted x equals something. So we were going to take the inverse of this negative 2x, which is a positive 2x. So we have to add 2x to this side. Remember, we're always wanting to keep the equation equal. That's why it's called an equation. 2x plus 2x is 4x. Bring down our negative 4. Bring down the 8. And then negative 2x and positive 2x gives us 0. Okay, so here we are. There's our two-step equation. Now we're going to add 4 to this side, add 4 to that side. So we're going to bring down our 4x. 4x, I'm sorry, negative 4 plus 4 gives us 0. Then we have 8 plus 4, which is 12. So there is our one-step equation. Divide each side by 4. These 4s cancel to give us 1. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. So just like the other ones, you're going to go ahead and take that 3 and plug it in to verify that you have the correct answer. Okay, so those last three examples were fairly straightforward, pretty much the same. So we're going to do one more, um, which actually I would have to change this to an x, okay, because we can't combine m's and x's, okay. Um, that was my mistake, but I can't erase. So let me go ahead and rewrite that. 5 plus 3x is equal to 6x minus 7, okay. All right. Same thing. Follow along if you can do it. You know, fast forward, do it, and check it. But I'm going to go ahead and work through it in case you guys need me to again. So again, x is on one side. We're going to have x equals something. So we are going to do the opposite of positive 6x, which is negative 6x. Do that on both sides. Okay, bring down our 5. 3x minus 6x is negative 3x. These 6x's cancel each other out. But negative 7. All right, so now we have our two-step equation. We want to get rid of this positive 5, so we're going to subtract 5. Okay, so same thing. 5 and negative 5 are canceled. Negative 3x brings down. Don't forget to bring down the whole thing, including the negative. Okay? And then negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12. And we're going to divide each side by negative 3. Don't forget, you have to divide it by negative 3, not positive 3. This is 1, and negative 12 divided by negative 3 is positive 4. Okay? All right, so here we're going to change it up a little bit. All right, if you look at this, if you look at the left side, remember what we did in class, you first have to get rid of the parentheses. You always want to do that first, so don't freak out about this problem. Just go one step at a time. First step is to do... The distributive property okay and that's going to get rid of your parentheses okay so let's do that first we have negative 2 times x which is negative 2x and then negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6 so all we did was distribute and get rid of the parentheses okay then on this side we have negative 3 times x it's negative 3x and negative 3 times positive 2 is negative 6 so now we've gone from here to here, and now we're at the problems that we've done the past four times. Okay? So now we get to where we want it to be x equals something. So to get rid of the negative 3x, remember we're going to do the opposite or the inverse operation. It's plus 3x plus 3x. Okay? Negative 2x plus 3x is just x. We're going to bring down our plus 6. Negative 3x plus 3x cancels out, and we've got our negative 6. Okay, now we are at a one-step equation. So now we're going to do the inverse of positive 6, which is negative 6. And we end up with x. This is 0 equals negative 12. Okay, and again, go through and plug in your negative 12 and make sure that it works. All right, so last problem. This one I want you guys to solve by yourselves, okay? And then if you look down, there should be a Google form. And what you're going to do is make sure you fill that out and put in your answer to this problem. So work it out on your paper and then put the answer x equals whatever it happens to equal. All right, guys, well, go back and look it over again if you have any questions. But this is pretty straightforward. It just takes going step by step. You guys are going to be great at this. So uh, have a good night and we will see you in class 
tomorrow and be ready to work. See ya.